Welcome back to the backlog, and this week is going to be a little unconventional. I tried a new camera angle, and all of my shots were either out of focus or out of frame. But I still wanted to produce a video this week, so I piled it all together and just made something I was proud of. I hope you enjoy. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. In Miniac's video about his Escalation League, Evan says, perfect is the enemy of good. It really stuck with me. So I said it in my last video, and a friend of mine said that it also stuck with him. And he asked if there was a solution, and I didn't really have an answer. So in this video, I'm going to try and give my best advice about it. Perfect is the enemy of good, to me boils down to the fear. The fear of failure. The fear of not being perfect, so why try? I can't make my model look like the box. So if I leave it in the box, it's not bad, it's just unfinished. So I'll just come back to it when I have money or the skill to paint it, or be painted. I've had this thought, and I'm sure people out there have had them too. And I don't think seeing all these professional paint jobs helps with anyone's confidence. Being afraid to fail is worse than actually failing. Failing is learning, and when we stop learning, we become ignorant. I'm not saying you shouldn't strive for it, and I'm not saying you should lower your standards. But I'm saying you should be happy with your work. Don't compare your work or yourself to someone else. Even if you use the same paint, technique, and model, you two aren't the same, and you never will be. That's the beauty of being human. I don't know about you, but I can't sit and stare at a model for five, 10, or 50 hours to get an award-winning paint job. I probably won't win a Golden Demon. I probably won't win a Best in Show for an army, but I am proud of what I paint, and I think you should be too. I also don't like painting an army. Paint it in the same way, on the same models for over a hundred models. It's boring, and even if it creates amazing results, I'll burn myself out, and then I won't touch a model for weeks, months. So be yourself, paint what you like, and if you're proud of your paint job, don't beat yourself up. It's your toy. If you're proud of it, be proud of it, and if somebody makes fun of you, that's their issue, not yours. You don't have to be perfect. Nobody is. Da Vinci needed to learn to paint before he finished the Mona Lisa. So paint something. Or do something new. Paint a blue skin tone instead of a white or a brown one. Kip bash a model. Something you don't or wouldn't normally do. I honestly think most of this is just gaining confidence in yourself. When you gain confidence, you may not be a better painter. You may not magically get new skills or new paints. But you'll feel better about yourself. Even when you make mistakes. You'll learn and you'll grow. So take a shower brush your teeth, put on some nice clothes, get some confidence. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful or inspirational, or if you found it helpful with your hobby backlog, or your pile of shame, or your pile of opportunity, whatever you want to call it, or if it just helped you feel better, give it a like, share it with somebody who needs it. And until next time, happy crafting. Goodbye.